After avoiding the sweep against the Angels, the Cardinals get a day off. Helsley definitely could use that. So there were six games played on the 16th. Let's take a look and see the results. Brandon Lau leading the way. Two hits and drives in three. I assume in the top of the first as Tampa wins 4-1. to one. Zach Littell getting his second win of the season. Fairbanks, unlike real life, reliable. A clean ninth to get his 16th save of the season. Boston also with six hits. Devers had two of them. Pablo Reyes, a solo shot in the bottom of the fifth inning. Also Devers, a walk. So two for three with the walk. Tanner drops the game here. Two and three on the year. Four runs allowed over four innings. Their rival, the Yankees, also lose. Man, the Yankees having a rough. Lose one to two. Two hits by DJ LeMahieu, two of the six hits. Soto and DJ with doubles. Ian Hamilton gets the loss. Two runs allowed over four in the third inning. Oof. Minnesota, only four hits in this one. Julian 0 for 1, but was walked twice. He did score. Christian Vasquez and Deshaun both driving in runs. Bailey, 7 and 2 on the year. Really great season. Sub 2 ERA. One run allowed over seven innings, five hits. NL Central action, the Cubs creeping their way to 500. They went at home 4-2 against the Pirates. Ten hits for Pittsburgh. A couple of guys with two hits. This Bailey gets the loss. Falter, 1-1 one one on the year. Four runs allowed over five innings. Colin Holderman, no runs allowed in his inning of work. For the Cubs, eight hits. They drive in four. Pete Crow Armstrong driving in two off of two hits. Dansby, two for four. He drives in a run as well. Jamison Tyon proves the four and three. Two runs allowed over six innings. Alzale getting his 12th save of the season. Reliable bullpen. I'm sure Cub fans will like that in real life. Astros, winners at home, nine to four. Oakland, mm. tough, tough, tough. They were doing good, and it looks like things are starting to fall apart. Blackburn definitely did. No earned runs, but gave up six runs in the first inning. What the hell happened? That's crazy. Nine runs for Houston. Eight hits. Dubon driving in two. Diaz driving in four. Six run first inning. Kind of crazy. Christian Javier definitely gets the win here. Five and three. Four runs allowed over six in the third. But a lot of runs put up. He's good. Reds drop back to being under 500, lose 6 to 11. Benson and India driving in a combined five runs. Not enough, though. Why? Oof, pitching. Williamson gives up seven runs in three innings. Montaz, four in one. Dodgers, 11 hits, 11 runs. Rojas drives in three. Otani, two. Smith, two. Freeman, one. Man, just hits everywhere. And guess what, Otani? Also doing this thing on the mound. Six innings, four runs allowed. That's an ouch. But his fifth win is a result of 10 strikeouts. Speaking of dominance, the Phillies. They went at home against the Mets 4-2. to two. Seven hits for New York. Two by McNeil. He drove in both runs. David Peterson still winless on the season. 0-3. Nine hits over four in the third. Three runs allowed. For the Phillies, 13 hits, everyone getting a hit in the lineup. Sosa driving in two runs, going two for four. Sanchez, five and two on the year, seven Ks, solid six innings, only two runs allowed. Alvarado, save number 19. So looking at the NL Central, Cardinals the only team above 500. Cubs and Reds are right there though, just a game under. Milwaukee two games under, but of all the teams right now, everyone's kind of struggling. The Cubs are surging. Seven of their last 10 games have been wins. Everybody else at best five, if not less. So now St. Louis gets to play at home, taking on a couple of AL East teams. 